Hey guys, I'm coming to you really quick. I was supposed to do this live, but your girl is tired and our satellite and internet and stuff is acting up because of the storm. Um, so right now, I don't know how good the connection is. So I just wanted to record this video. I know y'all wanted me to do it live, but I need to have a strong connection in order to do that. And so I'm getting ready to prepare my cabbage. And so I wanted to come and share with you um, this new way that I have found to give myself more vegetables and to give my cabbage a little more flavor. So I have a whole head of cabbage here that I am going to use part of it for me and then the other part I'll put in the big pot for everybody else. The big pot is just going to be straight cabbage, but this pot is going to be for me because I'm going to mix mine. So what I'm going to mix it with as I showed on my live video, this is the sugar snap peas stir fry, okay? I'm gonna take the water chestnuts out. Cause I don't like water chestnuts. had them in some Chinese food and Charlie did it for me. I was like, mm-mm. I haven't tried them since. I remember the taste and it, I wasn't a fan then and I don't want to try it now. Just make sure I got them all out. Okay. All right. Okay, so here are my frozen vegetables. And it is um, squash, broccoli, carrots, um, sugar snap peas, that kind of thing. So, cut up this part of my cabbage. And in my pan, I'm going to add some bacon grease. And this is what I keep my bacon grease in. Um, that's about a tablespoon. I'm going to turn my fire up just a little bit. And I'm going to add this cabbage. Okay. Like I say, I'm not going to use this whole cabbage in this little pot for me because it's just for me. I hope y'all can hear me. This is going to cook down, of course. Okay. Now these green pieces be kind of tough sometimes. I just roll them up and I'm just going to cut them as small as I can. Being careful not to chop your fingers off. Never be in a hurry when using sharp objects. So I got that all cut up. Now, put that in there. Now what I'm going to add is some salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt, okay? I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper. That's to taste. going to add some of the complete seasoning, okay? And that's to taste, you know? If you've never tried it, I will start out with a little sprinkle. You should try your little sample first before you put all your cabbage in here, and then it don't taste the way you want it to, okay? You can always add two, but you can't take it away. So I'm going to let that simmer a little bit, turn it up a little bit more, 
while I finish cutting up my other cabbage. So I'm going to add the rest of this cabbage to my other pot. And I don't know about you guys, but I season in layers. Because anytime you add something else, you need to make sure you have enough seasoning. So like with cabbage, you can always taste it to see. After you stir it up, taste it to see if you have enough seasoning. Because whether you use salt or salt substitute, you want to be able to taste your food, okay? Some people do have issues with their taste buds. And I understand that, so... If you have that problem, that's a horse of a different color. Just like some people are colorblind, you know. Some things we just can't help. But always make sure you taste. You can always add more, but you cannot take away. You can ruin your pot really quick by being in a rush and forgetting certain steps. So this piece I don't use. I guess Darian and got so hungry, he need a, something to eat. He eating a lonely sandwich. I'm not thirsty, bro. I'm not thirsty, bro. I'm not thirsty, bro. Me? You got me. Yo. I'm not thirsty. Here, Darian. Let's give me a cup of water. Hold on, we need to wash my hands. Thank you. I don't want the bottom to get soggy. Pay attention, this will be on the final. <laughs> I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. So make sure you get all the way down to the bottom and turn that cabbage. You don't want the top to be crunchy and the bottom to be soggy. You want to get whatever seasoning, whatever water is down in the bottom, you want to turn it to wet that cabbage. I don't know about nobody else, but I do not like dry, unseasoned cabbage. So, I am going to let that sit a few minutes. Wrong lid, hold on. I had grabbed the wrong lid. So, as for my first pot, let's see if I can get y'all to see it without me dropping the phone. This is where I added my other cabbage to. Okay? So I added that. I'm going to add a little more salt, just a little bit, to the very top. A little more cayenne. I'm not going to add any more complete seasoning because I don't want to add too much. But I know my husband and the kids like a little spice. So we're going to stir this up because this has been cooking for a while. So see the bottom is totally different than the top. But when you mix it all in, it's going to equal it out. Okay? And see, once I get this stirred up, 
I'm going to put the lid on it. And I'm going to let it go for about another 10 minutes. And then I will turn it off. Because I don't want to wilt my top cabbage. My husband still likes some of the cabbage to be just with a little crunch. But, you know, we compromise in here. And I keep saying my husband because my kids, they eat just like him. It's not that they don't have a choice because people that know me know I cook sometimes three or four different meals at night. Okay? So that's the way that looks. I'm going to put the lid on that. That's a cup of water. I'm going to put the lid on that and let that go. Okay. It's wilting down. So now we're going to add the stir fry mixture. colors in this. You see, I'm not a big person on a lot of different types of vegetables, but these are some that I like. I like sugar snap peas, but I don't like them in everything. And this gives me a way to incorporate different vegetables, even squash and broccoli and, you know, all the carrots, all of that cabbage, mixing it all together. I can stuff this in some chicken breast. And I'll be good to go. You can stuff it in a bell pepper. You can add some cheese and some rice and some diced chicken to this. And you'll be good to go. Okay, now I have it all mixed together. I am going to taste it. Let's see. Let me get a piece of cabbage. Okay, that's good and crunchy. I need salt. Okay, and I need complete seasoning. I'm gonna add some more of this. Okay, and I'm gonna add some bacon grease on the top. Okay. We're going to stir this in. And we are going to let it simmer for a few more minutes. My heat is not on high. It is in between medium and high. Okay, we'll let my grease come back to temperature. 
And then I am going to drop some more chicken. I want them to rest on top of each other. We want them in an even layer. Okay. I only have a few pieces left. Shaking off the excess flour. I had exactly four pieces left, so two in each basket. Starting to heat up. Y'all, that smells so good, so good, so good. Check on this last pot. Everything is coming together. And that is it, y'all. Cabbage is basically done. I'm just keeping it on low until the chicken is finished. And, uh, yeah. Keeping me a cup of water helps me to not snack while I'm cooking. I told y'all he gonna be watching the game. So now... I know you guys know how to peel potatoes, so I'm going to boil some potatoes for mashed potatoes, okay. And I'll be back, y'all. Okay, guys, dinner is done, okay. Galen has already fixed his plate. This is his chicken and cabbage done his way. Have you tasted anything yet? Mm -mm. No? Okay. So this is... Let's this. Hold on. Father, thank you for the food I'm about to receive. May it nourish my body, mind, and spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, let me taste it. See? Just the same delicious as usual. Okay, well, I'm glad you like it. Now, y'all... Don't think Galen gonna tell me what I wanna hear. If it don't taste right, he will tell me it don't taste right. You know, he be like, no, nah, baby, you need to add a little more this or you need to add a little more that. So, just know. So this is my way. And I wanna make sure I get a little bit of everything in there. That's cabbage, some carrots, peppers, the sugar snap peas, I like to pick those out and lay them on top. Ooh. Some green beans. Just get a little bit of air, air thing. Now this is mine. Ooh, look like I found a water chestnut. Mm -mm. Yep, I sure did. Nope, you got to come out of there. Mm-mm. Some broccoli, all of that good stuff. I'm checking around for any more, anything that don't belong in here. Okay, so that is my way. I 
am going to get me a piece of cheeking, which is going to be a, a wing and a thigh is for my dinner. So that is it, you guys. Cabbage one and two. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all to pieces. Y'all have a great night. Um, I don't know what this storm is getting ready to bring us. It has been knocking out our um, internet and cable ever so often. So if you see this video tonight, you know it made it through. I love y'all. Bye, sugar.